Hi, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to SA Accounting Academy. Uh, here's a short clip on one of our previous webinars. I hope that you really do enjoy it. A very, very warm welcome this morning to um, our session on building your accounting practice for the future. I am so, so happy to have you here. And I trust that this is going to be a very valuable and informative session. So a very, very warm welcome to all of you. And let's get going with this awesome, exciting topic, shall we? Okay, so today we're talking about uh, build your accounting practice for the future. I am Nestine Buerta. I'm a chartered accountant. I'm one of the co-founders of Explore Protec Entrepreneurial Haven. I work every single day with entrepreneurs, helping them step into the future and grow their businesses in various different ways. I help them with networking, training, fixing their business models. Um, so yeah, so that's where I'm coming from. I'm also one of the top 35 under 35 chartered accountants, according to Saika, and one of the top 50 women in accounting in the world, uh, according to practice ignition. So I believe I am well equipped to take you through the session and really just help you to build your accounting practice for the future. By the way, I have embedded some links on the actual slides. So if you would like to connect with me on LinkedIn, or if you would like to subscribe to my YouTube channel and check out some of the content on there, you're more than welcome to do so. I'm always happy to hear from my fellow accounting preneurs. Okay. Um, in terms of the course outline today, what I want you to walk away from the session with. Um, so by the end of this webinar, you should be able to understand what is required to build an accounting practice for the future. You should understand why a shift is necessary in order to be able to do that. You'll also understand how to change your mindset with regards to how you think about yourself, how you think about your prospects and clients, your pricing, your staff, um, technology, and the future. And you should understand how to use the strategy checklist that I've included for you at the end of these slides in order to really sit down and come up with a strategy that's going to help you build your accounting practice for the future. So that's what I have in store with you for you. That's what I would like you to walk away with from this webinar experience today. So I want you to, I want to encourage you to be interactive. I see a couple of people have already said good morning in the chat. Hi everybody, it's so good to see you. Feel free to chat in the chat about the topics as we go. If you have comments, drop it in there. If you have questions, drop it in there. And um, that's how we all get to learn together. So even if there's a question in there and you feel like you're a perfect person to answer it, go for it. That is collaborative learning at its best. So I'd like to encourage you to stay interactive. And um, yeah, if you have questions at any point in time, drop them into the chat. I will answer them um, if I can as part of the presentation or um, otherwise I will just leave some time at the end of this webinar so I can answer it at the end. Okay, awesome. So in terms of our table of content, we're going to start off with a little introduction. Why is it so important that we need to actually build our accounting practices for the future? We're going to recap where we come from and why things are the way they are at the moment. We're going to talk about what it takes to shift into the future. And then I'm going to give you some things to think about with regards to changing your mindset. So we'll start with how you think about yourself, go to how you think about your clients and prospects, then we'll talk about pricing, um, your staff, technology, the future, and then I'll share the strategy checklist with you that I have included at the end of the slides. Okay, so that is what is in store from a content perspective. In terms of quotes, I to set the scene for this awesome training session this morning. Um, I have a quote from another accountant that is actually 
gone through this process that I'm going to be teaching you this morning. And he's a CPA from the US, Robert East. And his quote, what he said about this program is, instead of having a big push during tax season, we're talking with our clients on a regular basis, intentionally, as opposed to when it is necessary. So I see advisory services as a way of the future. So this is an accountant that has already embraced the, the change, that has um, gone through the thought process that I'm explaining in this webinar today, and they've had some really positive results. So I thought that would be an amazing quote for us to set the scene for today, just to show you what is possible. So I also want to, by the way, congratulate you for showing up today for this session. A lot of the times when we see sessions like this, we're like, yeah, that would be cool, like building the thing for the future. But I have so many like tax deadlines right now. I'd rather focus on that. Like, how am I? So just the fact that you are here and that you've showed up for yourself um, is already a massively amazing indication. It's already a good win. So well done for being here. Okay, so on that note, Let's go in to this, starting with the introduction. Um, so, Peter, thank you for posting in the chat. I would love to show myself on camera. I am just scared that it's going to negatively affect the bandwidth. So at the moment, I'm going to leave the camera off, but maybe at the end of it, once we've gone through most of the content, I'll put it on, okay? So for now, at least you have the voice and the slides, but thank you for raising that. Okay, so in terms of the introduction, what do you need to do to build your accounting practice for the future? Well, there's a couple of things that we really need to pay attention to, okay? So first of all, we need to move our marketing and lead generation practices into the future. It's not good enough anymore to just rely on referrals. Referrals are great. And I know that as tra traditionally in the accounting profession, we've mostly relied on them in order to grow our practices. But the reality of um the reality of this whole thing is that there are such amazing uh, marketing and lead generation practices out there that we could be utilizing to have our practices grow quicker, better, and faster. So we can't just ignore them. We should at least know about them so that we can make an informed decision um, in order to, to try and see if we can bring that into our practices. Okay, then we also definitely need to think about our workflow, team management, and leadership development. There is a lot, a lot, a lot that we can do in this world and in the business world if we have the right team behind us and if we have the right leaders in place in our practices and if we are developing the team and the leader at the same time. Also, if we're developing the workflow at the same time around the team, using automation and digitalization where it's applicable, that will be absolutely incredible. The growth that we can expect is exponential. So that's something that we really need to think about. Um, we also need to make sure that we're offering the services that the clients of the future are looking for. So it all comes down to strategy, strategy, strategy. We need to spend more time working on our actual practice and less time working in it because the right move can cause exponential growth. While if you're stuck just working in your practice all the time, putting out fires, um, getting jobs done, that's all you're doing. But if you are working actively and passionately on the strategy of growing your practice, that is where real, real growth comes from. Okay, so we need to really change the way that we think about ourselves, our practices and the future and what is possible. And that's what I'm here to help you do this morning.
Okay, another thing is we really need to stop differentiating on price. So I don't know what your experience has been in the market. Maybe you can tell us in the chat. But there is an insane price pressure um, that has been with us for the longest time. It's gotten a little bit worse because of COVID. I hope that you enjoyed that video. For more of our webinar videos, go to www.accountingacademy.co.za. Thank you and have a lovely day.